G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. If fly fishing is something you want to get into, you want to do a course with us. We'll take you up to the new G and we'll teach you how to catch trout. $99, get in touch with us and we'll teach you how to be a superstar fly fisher. Yep. spotted one here. Uh, I spent a bit of time looking and then a big one just come down that it, this is obviously must be a bit bigger. He's chased him down. But I'll just get this fly out, see if we can hook him first and then I'll talk in a second. Something, something set him off. I'm not sure what. It didn't get him. But just a great feeding line where we, we've got a couple hooked them just below here, and we just shot up another couple of feet, uh, and there's plenty of plenty of duns coming down, and that's what happens all through these little rapids. Very aerated water, um, and very good for for nymphs to live in and that's where they'll hatch from as well. So uh, a fish, as you can imagine, sitting just below here is gonna get first crack at all these, um, the nymphs and the duns coming down and they'll leave for the smaller fish all the way further back. So uh, at least we saw him. We didn't get him to take, but saw him. He'll be there when you come back. We're just walking up these rapids and uh, I mean, the water's literally, as you can see, like ankle deep. And you look across, and this fish, if he's, if he's not four to five pound, I'll go he. Just sitting over there, the shallow water. So there's not much I can do. I'm sort of stuck here. But what I'll try and do is stay low, have some little hills in the background for that fish, if he's looking this way, and do a side cast, rather than a big up and down cast, which is going to create a lot of um, movement. I'll just do a side cast less movement let's see if this fish finds it he's gonna and he does and that's uh that's good when a plan works that's good and he's a reasonable fish i've got to try and i'll keep him up here if i can rather than let him go downstream he hasn't woken up yet which is good and he helped me out too he moved uh, a couple of meters to get the the line? Oh, well, he mightn't be as big as what I thought. Might be a lazy three and a half pounder. Which is still in Australia, on the front page of the Herald Sun. And if I can even sneak up on him here before he knows he's even hooked and get that net in under him, then it's all over pretty quick. So that was a good plan. Once you see a fish like that in shallow water, you don't bypass it and just forget about it. Because fish will literally sit in water with their backs, you know, virtually not even covered. So uh, that's a good plan. I'll bring him over and we're going to have a, have a closer look. So I believe uh, I'll have to go he, because he was under four or five pound. He was actually only about two and a half, but uh, he looks stunning. Sitting in that shallow water. Over there, just a beautiful fish and different colours again. Good. There he is, just there. Come on, mate. Nope, just a bit exposed up here. Sometimes when you're, uh, you can see fish and they are feeding, we're just a little bit out in the open and they're probably pretty aware of their surroundings. So uh, 
seeing a silly Aussie waving his arms about doesn't help. But if you see a fish that has been feeding and all of a sudden they just sink right to the bottom, it's because they've probably seen you or they've seen you fly or the fly line or a flash, something that scared them. So uh, don't spend all day with those. You've just got to move on and find one that um, is unaware of you at the moment. A great little uh, glide, which is um, should be right, named after our rod, uh, all the way up here, and literally just on the edge here, um, there's fish rising literally the whole way up for probably you know two, three hundred metres. So um, hopefully I can put a few of these in front of him. Absolute thumper. Get up there, come on. Swinging, he's like taking nymphs. He's, he's not breaking the surface, but they just get so focused when, the, when there's so much food around that that fish is getting pretty close to me and uh, he's not spooked. And I haven't got the right fly. And it's hard to concentrate on this one when you've got one just ahead of you rising as well. Right, I'm going to change. They keep looking at it. It's hard to change a fly when they're, uh, they're rising all around you, believe me. But um, it's just... I just keep rejecting it. So uh, I'll go for something a little smaller and into a CDC, so something that sits more in the film than what this one does. It is hard work changing a fly when you can hear that noise. And I can see that fish just out. It's probably only 10 foot out from me. 